the depth of winter, when the days grow long and the weeks grind on, the ice becomes a sanctuary. The net is there! There are the early risers. I get up at four to stoke the fire. Just become a way of life. Yeah. If I don't do the rink, I don't feel right. And the ones who stay late. This is like my uh, fortress of solitude. To be down here on some nights, no phones, no technology, quiet, out in nature on a nice clear night. But the common thread is a love for the game, passed on through the generations. When I was little, my mother used to go out in the evenings and uh, flood a rink for me, and she spent a lot of hours out there doing that. And uh, I guess that's kind of where I felt I should give back. From the neighborhood rink to any patch of ice cleared of snow, pucks are passed among friends and complete strangers become teammates. There are no tryouts or time clocks. There's just these incredible women who just want you to be better and to want you to have a good time. There's nothing quite like it. There's something different about outdoor skating and hockey. It's just, you know, it's Canadian, right? It's kind of what Canadians are all about. Nothing quite so. There's something about it, like just being out in the elements, like there's nothing better than playing uh, game of hockey when the sun actually feels a little bit warm on you, but it's still nice and cold outside and the ice is nice. It just kind of is more gratifying when you get to enjoy that. I just love how it's the best form of freedom for me, just having the, the cool air in your face, especially when it's winter, you're breathing in fresh air, you're playing hockey, you're getting a great workout, and it's a good kind of uh, way to wake up and uh, start your day. We like skating together because it means a lot to me and my dad because we teach each other something new every day and it gives us the opportunity for freedom and when you have fun, that's all that matters. We are all members in good standing of the Outdoor Hockey Club.